In today's video, we're gonna teach you three things that are gonna make jumping rope easier. All right, so first things first, we need a mirror or a reflection. So we have our gym right here, and I think we have a pretty solid mirror. We gotta find some room. Let's go start in there, shall we? So if you're new to the Jump Road Duke community, beautiful. If you're not, this is gonna help you as well because we noticed that when people are first starting to jump rope, the beginners out there, when you send us your Instagram stories, your videos on Facebook, we see that a lot of people are making three mistakes consistently. So like we thought to ourselves, why don't we make a video where we cover those three things things specifically and so I'm gonna help you out starting with this first one right here so yes the world is your gym all right that's still our thing but when you're a beginner it can be helpful to have a reflection to look at your form in so this is a mirror a lot of gyms have me might have one in your house you can also use a window for the reflection but essentially the reason why you use a reflection is so you can watch your jump rope form and make sure that your mate you're keeping symmetry between your arms and your overall body. Because one really common beginner mistake is to have uneven arms. So one arm is up here, and what happens when you lose the parallel of your jump rope form? Well, once one uh, handle goes up too high, you don't have enough slack to get through, and so you end up tripping over it. So when you're watching yourself in the mirror, you can very easily see, oh, wait a minute, I'm not even here. I need to bring one arm down, boom, both arms, down at the hips, flawless form. A lot of things people do as well is they'll start to tilt their jump rope handles this way, or this way, or this way, or this way. We can very clearly see in the mirror if you have it parallel at your hips, parallel to the ground at your hips, and that's where you wanna keep it, okay? So when you watch yourself, it's very objective. It's like, hey, you're either tilting up and down, making your life diff more difficult, or you're keeping the handles parallel to the ground and you have a nice smooth arc over your head because that's what happens. That arc becomes nice and smooth and beautiful when you have even hands. So if you're someone who's still struggling with a jump rope form, please go find a mirror reflection, practice in front of it, make sure that you're completely lined up with that beautiful jump rope form that we teach you. The second thing that's gonna make jumping rope a lot easier for you is starting to jump rope by using your wrist to spin the rope instead of your arms to spin the rope. Now I'll show you exactly what I mean. This is a very specific thing we're talking about that we see in the community. When people are jumping rope, there's no tightness to the rope. They're using their whole body. And when they, when they do this, you can't get in a consistent rhythm. And also you don't really have much control of the rope. It's hard to do tricks. It's hard to skip in general. So a lot of beginners, when they're first starting, they detach the elbow from the body and they're trying to effort the rope to spin. They're trying to force it with their arms. You don't gotta force it. Just like we showed you in front of the mirror. If you just keep your arms at your hips and use the momentum of the rope to basically spin itself, you can feel the feedback. And then you're also gonna see, if you ever go back in front of the mirror, that you have a nice smooth arch to your rope as well. So when you first start to spin your rope with your wrist and not your arms, you're gonna feel that your forearms are gonna feel really sore, right? Because you're using new muscles. Because to hold your handle still, especially with heavier ropes like the one I'm using right now, it's gonna be taxing your forearms. Definitely gonna feel it in your shoulders as well. By doing so, not only are you burning a lot more calories, but you're also activating all these muscles and getting, you know, some extra gains. So that point number two, don't use your arms to spin the rope, use your wrists. So the third thing, that many beginners struggle with when they're first jumping rope is consistently being able to skip the rope without tripping. And a lot of that actually comes down to the surface in which you're jumping rope on. So this is random, but like even these rocks here have like cracks in them. What happens when your thin little rope hits a crack in the floor? A lot of times it's gonna get caught. And when it gets caught in the, in the crack, then you mess up. So that's no fun. This is a random thing, guys, but we think it's really important for people who we see sending us videos who are like, I'm struggling so much, and then we see that 
they're jumping rope on like different stones of cracks in them or dirt or grass and they're like, why can't I consistently not trip? And the reason is as simple as just finding, finding a nice smooth surface to jump rope on. So speaking of smooth surfaces, let's go look at an ideal jump rope surface right now. All right, here we are back in the gym. This, my friends, is an ideal jumping surface. This is like a rubber mat type thing. No cracks. No cracks, nice and smooth. If you don't have a surface like this available to you, that's where jump rope mats can come in really handy. We'll link up ours in the description below. Jump rope mats can be great. Otherwise, the world is your gym. So if you can go out into the world and you can find a nice uh, flat surface to jump rope on, that's ideal. Um, if you can't, just expect it to be a lot harder to jump rope. All right, so in summary, guys, here I am showing you all three points made in this video at the same time. We're using our reflection to make sure our arms are parallel, we have good jump rope form, we are using our wrist to spin the rope instead of our arms, and we're jumping on a nice smooth surface so we don't catch our rope and mess up. So those are three things we want you to focus on. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Uh, tell all your friends how awesome jump rope fitness is. Like the video, comment below. If you want the jump ropes we use, these are awesome ropes for beginners because they provide more feedback. That's basically it, guys. My name is Brandon, we are the Jump Rope Dudes. As always, we're here to help you jump rope, get lean, live more. Sorry about the noise.